Okay, I got my motorcycle all tuned up. I'm ready to hit the road. I've uh, been doing some research. Uh, there will be some great written words. Uh, the book will be published on MeWe, so you can download it in its entirety and read it for yourself. I'm making a uh, document here that I'm going to publish soon. Uh, since we know about the mud floods and the great nuclear hydrogen war, I did want to show you that tartar is a word that exists. Apparently it's very derogatory. You'll, you'll see in the written works, but just to let you know that I did look it up in a real dictionary. Now, the older the dictionary, the better you might get on the tartar and the tartarians. Uh, but this one did give some good information. It's all been printed up on this Word document over here. So uh, don't worry, you'll be able to find the uh, the document on the uh, page. But there's, there's many things. So anyway, I go to the encyclopedia. I'm figuring, well, if anyone can um, give me some history or knowledge about the Tartarian Empire or people or whoever they were, that would be this... Um, device this this book so i go to tartar and sadly all they will give us is tartaric acid they do not give us the word tartarian now this book was written in 1967 and then you go to tartars let's see if i can let you see it yourself see tartar so it's totally written out of history even in 1967 uh, tartan, though. I didn't know this. I think you'll find this kind of cool. You can recognize these patterns, don't you, on your shirts? Uh, lumberjack shirts, winter shirts. This is tartan, uh, embroidery. And each one of these, if you can see them, I'm going to try and hold it still, are names of houses. You have Stuart, Blackwatch, Rob Roy, Buchanan. I've been wearing the McLeod of Lewis colors. McPherson, McDonald, Gordon, and uh, McIntosh, Douglas. But I just wanted you to see that. I think Tartan is very close to Tartar. So I would I would not be surprised if these go back to Sinclair. Okay, we know these names. These are McMillan. These are Old Irish and other uh, Celtics. English, Germanic, Polish, probably even European. Uh, you know, Tartan was an empire of all races. Uh, but the word Tartars is not in the encyclopedia. So that was very frustrating. I was hoping I could uh, give you some knowledge. But, you know, in these encyclopedias, you do get old pictures. So how old is that? Look, it's all shot up. Still statues still there. I mean, who is this? Uh, this is stage design. This is a stage. So we know that the war came to these places. Uh, probably machine guns, tanks, jets, helicopters. You know, and then they, they, they do drawings to say this is what they look like. And, uh, you know, just when you look at the elaborate work done in these places, uh, that's a stage. I mean, it looks like it got bombed the hell out of, but it's called Stage Design Page. So I'm just going to take a little time because I know you people doing um, the mud floods um, may not have considered, gosh, I can go to these um, encyclopedias and find some old pictures or old drawings of what the world looked like before the Great Hydrogen War or the Great Nuclear hydrogen war. So these are stages. Um, this is in 1967, but, oh, you want to see the phantom. Yes, I was, there it is. Boom. Okay. This is called phantom. I'm going to show it to you. I'm just going to show it to you so you can read it yourself. Phantom drawing showing how the observer gets on and off the tube. Okay. Why would you need to do this in 1967? Why would you have to show this phantom drawing? See, I think they found this, these drawings and they, uh, they rebuilt the stuff. Kind of like, I, I can't remember the word they use, but when you, um, you find documents from a thousand years ago, I'm going to let you consider that thought right there. 
because we live in eternity. We are celestial beings. This is purgatory. No doubt about that. It can be whatever we want. But uh, when you have phantom drawings, <clears throat> yeah, I'm still fighting that flu, <coughs> that cold, but it's almost gone. But isn't that fascinating? Never heard of the word phantom drawing. And of course, the spirits brought me right to this page. So as the oracle for the end of an age, connected to the source of all creation, I hope you appreciate all my efforts in finally writing a book, the book of non-Mason. So all us non-Mason have a focal point to um, to study and, and develop our knowledge. And then, you know, these encyclopedias are treasure troves. They're, they're, you want to get them, okay? I don't know if you can order them anymore because everything's on the internet. And when they meant paperless side of society, they didn't mean check stubs and papers. They meant they were going to get rid of this. Uh, paperless society means um, no more books. Book burning. Okay. This shows you how a telescope works. The astronomical. Okay. What are, what are stars used to be called before stars are called angels? They were called astrons. What were they called before they were called astron? They were called asters. The great disaster. But, um, no. Nope. Stained glass. So, yeah, if you want to study old architect. Because it can all be repurposed. They can just say, you know, this may have been to just some guy we liked. We thought he was cool. And they turn him into John the Baptist. Or they turn him into Noah. Or they turn him into Jesus. When it was just some guy that was cool. And, and Jesus is cool. You know, and you know this, this woman. Uh, now, this is interesting. This is pre-Catholic. Look at her headdress. It's not a sun thing. It's just a uh, a covering. And she's with her little girl. Little girl saves the world, right? And we rangers protect her. Because if the little girl does not grow up, we do not get born. We need the womb that gives birth to all of us. So it's a fascinating picture. Give you a little time just to take it in. And even on this low quality video, you can see that there is some fascinating artwork out there. But compared to the Catholic Church and even this guy, Tartarian, okay? They say we're violent and ugly and at least they called us superior fighting force, but still our own people, you know, they turned on us, or the golem did. This is stained glass. I bet you'll never see that in a Catholic church without their stupid sun shield behind the guy's head. So this is what a regular person looks like, okay? There is father, there is mother, and there is child. And uh, and then, of course, you got this, so... Uh, yeah, even this one, he doesn't have the thing around the back of his head. So this is pre, uh, this is old. So you can find a lot of Tartarian stuff in stained glass. And it may not be in churches, it may be in other buildings. But once again, the guy's got a beard. We know, we like our beards, all these clean-shaven motherfuckers. And um, just an interesting fact about Encyclopedia, Padia, Britannica. I'll show you right here. Check it out. Made by the University of Chicago. And what's always having trouble right now in the 21st century? Uh, there's always, they say, they say on the news, there's always gunfights going on in Chicago. I'd go to Chicago and check out the architect. Uh, I think that's a phoenix. Yeah, it's a phoenix. It's definitely a phoenix. Okay. So get out there and, and go do your studies and go do your research and go look at your towns and travel the world and, and make your videos. And we shall so learn more things. But uh, yeah, if you can get a hold of these books, man, they are a treasure trove. Oh my God, look, it can even make a television. See, we don't need to have our TVs made in Japan or China or Korea. Nothing wrong with Japan, China or Korea, but until... um. We get rid of globalism and these internationalists. We can make our own TVs. Just get one of these books. It tells you how to make them. It shows you why it works, how it works. And remember, um, television, TV sets, your your black screens, right? Your, your black mirror. That's your black mirror. They're all TV. That's why I use the word TV. So I hope you young people get that. But yeah, you can look up television in this encyclopedia. And I'm sure if you're smart, uh, no, we don't like to use that word smart, do we? I'm sure if you're intelligent, industrious, well-thinking, resourceful, I bet you could build your own TV set. 
And if you can build a TV set, you can build a cell phone. And if you can build a cell phone, you can build a car. And if you can build a car, you can build a radio. And we can do it all local. Okay, hang in there. Keep doing your best. Johnny Exodice, out.